next section is user management. User management will be available to users who are admins within the system. From the hamburger menu, select user management. Within user management, you will be able to add a new user, view a user's permissions, modify a user, delete a user, copy a user, unlock a user, or reset a user's password. From the main page of user management, you have the option to display the users in list view or tile view. The icons on the top right will allow you to toggle between these views. To add a new user, click on the words add new user next to the plus symbol at the top of the page. Enter the following fields, user ID, username, contact name, email address, phone is optional, Select the user type. Note that an admin user will be able to permission other users. Click Next. This is where you will assign the services to the user. Within the box, Permissions Copied From, you will have the option to copy permissions from an existing user, or you are able to assign the services by marking off the radio buttons in front of each service name. On the right side of the screen, you can choose to allow the services to all accounts or to select accounts. By choosing select accounts, you will be able to mark off individual accounts and services by account. Click Next. This screen will allow you to set transaction limits to the user. Click Next. This page will allow you to review the user permissions. Select Back to Edit or Save to create the user. If a user is locked, you are able to unlock the user simply by clicking on the word locked under user status. In order to reset a user's password, hover on the three dots next to the user's name and select reset password. This will send a temporary password to the email address for that user profile. You can modify a user's permissions by hovering over the three dots under Actions and selecting Modify. This will step you through the same screens as when you create a new user. You can remove a user's access by hovering over the three dots under Actions and selecting Delete. A confirmation message will pop up where you confirm to delete or you can cancel. If you would like to create a new user, with the same permissions as an existing user, hover over the three dots next to the user and select Copy User. Just like other data, you can filter, choose columns, sort, print, or export the list.